Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, this guy has Fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. And now introducing his opponent. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Well, a huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. The Clash of Styles, in some respects, between a grappler and a 5 2 player type, but certainly the more well rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to win. Both fighters throwing heat now. to his feet, nicely done. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Johnny Hendricks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, 
and a good uppercut there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Hendricks. Five single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard. Man, what a fantastic strike to go at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Oh! Wow, what a kick! But you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of it. It's very low. Oh! Look at that. He's a it's over. It's over. Holy smokes. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. There he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. We're going to the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Smiling here to 